Hi, Sean. Hi there, Hiroshi. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, we, 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 are, we are surviving, uh, trying to make do with all the changes that's happening. <laughs> mm. Well, you know, ERS is now, you know, having, laying off a lot of people over there in the United States. And many things are going on, even the kind of language industry, too. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's going to be a, a, a change across the whole industry. I think a, a lot of people are switching online, but, you know, a lot of people are also finding that it's not as easy as just turning on your computer. Yeah, I understand. In Malaysia, I heard, you know, it's a strict rule of stay home right now. Yeah, yeah. We have a, what we call a movement control order. Mm. So uh, no, nobody's allowed to leave the house. Uh, we've been, mm. this is, uh, I think, our level two. We've mm. just started level three, uh, which means that this will be the start of our third uh, or, or at least the fifth week in lockdown. Mm. So how many like uh, minutes or hours you can go out to buy some necessity goods or... Uh, well, we, we can do essential things, uh, mm -hmm. buying goods and whatnot. Uh, only one person is allowed to go out at any one time uh, from the household. Uh, so they, they don't put a uh, time limitation, although there is now a, sort of like a curfew uh, where most of these gas stations, shops are closed by 8 p.m. Oh, 8 p.m. So only one time and one, one, one person in the family. Yes, there's only one person in the uh, family allowed to go. You have out. a pass or something to prove uh, it? No, no. Mm. Uh, they'll they'll check and see like uh, when you're in the shop, you're alone. When you're <laughs> driving, you're alone. Oh. Uh, so 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 that's that's how. There's there's many many roadblocks around the the area. Wow. Uh, sure. And uh, you have to wear a mask. Uh, yes, we do. Um, mm. And and the great thing is that we're also. Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of hand sanitizers around. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of when we go shopping now, they also give uh, uh, gloves. Mm. I see, so, I understand. So everybody's taking precautions. <laughs> uh, generally speaking, how people are keeping kind of mental health in this occasion? I think through engagements like this, I think a lot <laughs> of times yeah. you know, we, are, we are very social creatures, mm. I guess. So, so a lot of uh, my day has been um, meetings, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of virtual meetings, uh, catching up with everybody in the team. Um, and at the same time, um, I think it's also quite a blessing because, you know, we we have extra time with the family. Yeah, that's a good idea. And also, yeah. um, you know, it's so-called telework, which means like a working virtually, you know, yes. like a, by using the internet. You know, yeah. um, are there any kind of, a con um, how can I say, difficulties or, I mean, fun part or whatever with your colleagues? You know, tell me if you have. Um, I think it's more of um, making sure that um, when we talk to everybody, it's mm. all about uh, connectivity mm. uh, and, 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 and communication. Mm -hmm. So we don't have that problem in, in our team mm -hmm. uh, because of the culture that we've set. But what, what, we actually have started to see is that because in Malaysia, sometimes depending on which areas you are at, uh, internet connectivity, because now it's very high in usage, uh, might not be as stable. I understand. 90% uh, mm. of the time it's fine, like mm -hmm. how you and I are talking right now. Sure. Uh, but it's just that small off chance when you have a meeting of 12 people and that one person who's important suddenly gets disconnected. <laughs> uh, so these little small teething issues, but the government has told us that they are improving the oh. infrastructure right now. Oh, uh, they are doing and right and now. making sure that we're ready. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, generally yeah. speaking, industry will be, will, will be shifting to that kind of direction a lot, right? Yeah, mm. yeah, I think so. I think uh, everybody's talking about the new norm, you know, new and, and what, what all this, yeah, the new normal. Mm -hmm. um, A new normal, right, yeah. What, mm -hmm. Yeah, what it will look like. Um, and, and yeah, so, so we're very, very blessed because even, even for us uh, at ELS, uh, we have nearly, you know, uh, about 65 teachers. And, and based on the new norm, all 65 teachers are now fully trained to teach online. Um, oh. using the right methodology uh, and approach to encourage student engagement and all mm -hmm. of that stuff. So it's really, it's a blessing in a way because it's, we're bringing our faculty to the 21st century. 
That's interesting. That's interesting. And so, how about the demerit? You know, instead of the face-to-face -face lecture or teaching, only only depending on the virtual teachings. Are there any merit and demerit? Do you have any? Uh, in terms of merits. Merits first, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, generally, uh, um, our program runs its business as usual. Mm. Uh, so, and and that is definitely merits based. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in our program, so so definitely uh, we we just have to uh, uh, adjust the way in which we assess our students, mm. which is so governed by ELS Princeton. Mm. So so we have directions given uh, mm -hmm. and guidance in terms of our standards and how that applies online, and in that is also uh, evaluating for merits. Uh, how about the demerit in the virtual virtual things? Um. I, I don't know if we go out to, to, to demerit our, our <laughs> students in anything, uh, um, uh, but, but if you're talking about the downside mm. of, of online learning in a way, I think it's, it's, the, it's the nature of online fatigue, uh, and, and we're very, very conscious about this, uh, mm. where our students normally are used to five, six hours a day in the classroom at our center. True. Uh, and, and our teachers too, in, in, in a normal ELS uh, setting. I understand. But online, um, you get, if you teach for five hours or six hours a day, oh, or if people you get learn, tired. Mm. Yeah, you get very tired and very exhausted. Mm. So, um, so we had to adjust that to suit. And how do we make sure that whatever we teach is important and effective? For that learner, ah, yeah, and also maybe to keep price, you know, kind of w same way, you have to give a homework as well as not only just face to face on the online. Yes. There are several tactics, I believe. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm. We we do mm. we 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 even cut our class sizes into half. Mm -hmm. So so uh, instead of an eighteen to twenty student class size, we're now eight to twelve class size, so that the teachers get more interaction with the students. The students feel more. Uh, heard by mm -hmm. the teacher mm -hmm. uh, and the teacher uh, we also have this thing called customized learning support which I happens see. at the end of the day mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. students in small groups of threes and fours mm -hmm. uh, get personal attention uh, uh, from the teacher to make mm -hmm. sure that they all their weaknesses are addressed yeah it is important well yeah. you know um, the, then then you have to maintain the profit that is another challenge <laughs> yes always uh, but uh -huh. but i think uh right now profit is not the main main um uh agenda mm. uh we're honest with you it's all about sustainability mm. and and mm. delivering quality to our students mm. and making sure our teachers are teaching well I see. And, and and being treated well uh mm. so that our students can benefit from this given this really uncertain unprecedented time that's good uh, we need to make sure that they are mm. well taken care of so uh -huh. we even have uh, our administrative team every day calling students, mm -hmm. checking in on them because ninety percent of our students are mm -hmm, international mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're staying in Malaysia. I see. And so we call them up every day just to see how they are. Are they getting groceries? Are they? Uh, do they have access to money to buy food? Um, and 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 just routine checks that I we understand. do. Understand. Um, if you don't mind, would you please tell me that uh, you know right now the United States is in a in, in a big pandemic. And uh, I understand that the ELS operation over there is closed. And uh, mm -hmm. of course, you know, uh, you guys are in Malaysia and you have a franchise and you can do it, you know, as usual, you know, and, but on the other hand, are there any kind of tension about that kind of things, you know, coming to you, if you don't uh, mind? Yeah, no, not at all. I oh. mean, we, because, I mean, we respect the decision uh, mm. our friends in the U.S. have made. I think it's a very smart and wise decision, uh, given the situation that the U.S. is in. Although, of course, uh, the situation is different over here. Mm. Uh, and, and our friends in, in Princeton uh, uh, are all respectful of what we have decided. Mm. Uh, we follow our government, uh, Ministry of Health and mm. Ministry of Education regulations very strictly. Mm -hmm. uh, and we follow, mm -hmm. along with all the other schools in the country, mm -hmm. uh, um, the standards that are set. So even once the, um, the, the ban is lifted, uh, it's not like tomorrow we will open back the school. Ah, yeah, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, mm. we would definitely follow what the ministry would say 
and, and advises. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll definitely do a lot of the precautionary uh, uh, measures mm-hmm. uh, to make sure that uh, the well-being of our staff and students are, are placed at number one. Okay. Uh, lastly, I know, do you have any comment, to, comment or message to the world who is learning English right now under this pandemic? You know, do you have any idea? Or <laughs> just to stay <laughs> home or are there any? <laughs> one, one, of my, one of my colleagues actually attended the uh, Gaela uh, meeting, uh, which is the uh, for associations of English language uh, uh, training providers from mm-hmm. around the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I think there were about 40, 45 members uh, uh, from around the world uh, meeting in that. And, and everybody is ex- expressing um, um, the, the, the effects, the negative effects of, of uh, this funny. pandemic mm-hmm. on our industry and in our sector as well. Um, all I guess we could say is just stay strong, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and focus on student well-being. Uh, I'm sure everybody is already. Um, and I think ultimately there's a light, there's light at the end of the tunnel. I'm sure we'll, we'll get through this all. I see. Malaysia has already hit the apex. Um, we like to think so. <laughs> mm. Japan um, is now starting a little bit grow. I'm worrying about it. So mm. yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. I, I think I think it's um, yeah. We, we we I just read today about Japan as well. It's 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 quite it's 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 suddenly uh, a, a, a different number. Yeah, of, go, go, going up, going up. Yeah, you know, that's problem. For, mm. for us, our number has gone down and then mm. up again and then down. I so see. I think it's a small sign of a, a slight flattening. Um, but that being said, though, uh, we're very cautious. Um, uh, but our population is not as big as, you know, in Japan or the U.S. So to control this, I think we, it's easier for us to control. I understand. Okay, uh, Shem, I know, please stay healthy. And uh, I hope that you are doing well on your business, too. And uh, so, you know, let's stay in touch. Yes, definitely. Okay, thank you, Hiroshi. thank you very much. Bye-bye. はい。あの、今回は、あの、クアラルンプール、マレーシアですね。マレーシアの首都のクアラルンプールからです。いかがでしたかえっ、ー、とね、彼はね、いわゆるその、語学関係のインダストリーに、あの、勤めていて、あの、まあ、エンタープルナーなんですよね。えっ、ー、と、それで、あの、例えばフィリピンの、あの、真ん中にあるバギオという街だとか、そういうところにネットワークをして、スカイプレッスンを始めたり、いろんなその語学のソリューションをやってます。また彼はですね、あの、アメリカの大手のね、ELS というね、あの、まあ、語学学校の、まあ、そういうフランチャイズも持ってる人なんですけどね。あの、実はね、アメリカの方の本部が、今、アメリカの中が非常にパンデミックがひどいので、えっ、ー、と、フランチャイズをちょっとこう、フランチャイズじゃなくて、アメリカの学校をクローズしているというようなことも起きてるんですね。まあ、そういう中で、どうやってね、これからあの、まあ、インターネット、彼はフランチャイズの方だから大丈夫なんですけど、インターネットを使って、授業をやったり、先生たちとか、あの、働く仲間とコミュニケーションするかというのが、彼の一番の課題だと。いいことはね、あの、どんどんどんどんね、あの、インターネットでもいろんなカジュアルな授業とかもできるんですけど、一つの問題は、インターネットファティーグ。つまりどういうことかというとね、長い間インターネットで授業すると、あの、人た、人々がね、飽きちゃうんですよね。で、その飽きてるのを、飽きちゃうのをどうやってね、防いで、しかも、短いけれども、同じような料金でね、ビジネスをしていくって、これ一つのチャレンジですよね。まあ、そういうことを語ってくれました。非常にね、有意義な話でしたね。えっと、また、あの、マレーシアも今もまだ、あの、厳しい外出制限があって、えー、と物を買いに行くのを一人でしか買いに行けないとか、まあ、そういう、まあ、他の国と似たようなこともあの話してくれましたさてとまた次の国、えー、と行ってみたいと思います、えー、ブラジルとかいろんな国にまた訪ねていきたいと思いますので期待してください。